Today I'm going to show you how you can incorporate the sounds that are available in your Alexa devices into your SmartThings routines. I have a couple examples where I use this. In a previous video I showed my TV time routine. When my TV time routine starts it dims the lights in my rooms. I follow the dimming lights with a wolf howl sound. And when my lights brighten up after we're finished watching TV, I play the rooster sound. Keep watching and I'll show you how you can easily incorporate those sounds into your smart things routines. That's up next. This channel focuses on home automation and repair projects. If you are a do-it-yourself person or if you want to learn how to be a DIY person, particularly in the areas of home automation and repair projects, then I'm sure you'll enjoy the content that I present on this channel. Take a moment now to click on those subscribe and notification buttons so that you'll be sure to be notified of any new topics. All right, let's go ahead and get into today's routine. Let me mention before we begin that this routine does require Echo Speaks. You can obtain the free Echo Speaks app on the SmartThings community site. And I reference this community app in several of my former videos, and I will leave links in the description below. What the Echo Speaks app does, it brings your Echo devices into your smart things and also your sharp tools environment so that you can use them in routines and do such things as have them make announcements regarding the status of your various home devices. So I'd highly recommend that you install Echo Speaks and the best way to install that is through the community installer. I have a link that I'll leave below and also I'll leave a link above where you can access my video on how to install the community installer. Once you get that in place, it'll install all the community apps, make it a lot easier for you to set up. So I highly recommend that you go ahead and install the community installer app so that you can bring in Echo Speaks. If you have any difficulty at all getting Echo Speaks set up following the documentation that I have below this video, simply hop on over to Justin's channel. His channel title is simply Smart123, and he has an excellent video that shows you the full setup of Echo Speaks. He carefully takes you through each step and does a real great job of showing you how to get that in place. So I would certainly recommend that you check that out. All right, we'll go ahead and get into here. Before we do, let me mention I am still using the Classic app. And the reason I am is because I have not been requested to migrate over to the new app yet. But irrespective of that, you do need to set up Echo Speaks in the Classic app. You can use both the Classic app and the new app alongside one another. And I recommend if you haven't uninstalled the Classic app that you leave it up and running. This will enable you to bring in some of the SmartThings community device handlers and some of these community apps. So let's go ahead and go into the Classic app. And I'm going to start off in the middle tab at the bottom there with the little house with the check mark on it. That's the automation tab and you want to make sure that you're in smart apps, not routines. Uh, so if you don't have Echo Speaks, you'll need to get that installed. And like I said, the, the best way to do that is using this community installer app that you see here. That's the easiest way to get it in there. Once you get it in there, then follow along with uh, Justin's video if you need some help getting Echo Speaks all set up. All right, so let's go into Echo Speaks. And I'm gonna go down to Manage Actions. I have five actions in here. Those are basically routines. And two of those routines are the routines that I showed you at the beginning of the video. The one being the rooster and the other one being the wolf howl. Now these two routines are identical in setup other than uh, they're using uh, obviously different sounds and also different triggers. The wolf howl is triggered whenever my lights are dimmed below a certain level and the rooster routine is triggered when my lights are increased above a certain level. So that's the only difference between the two. So I'm going to just show you the wolf howl routine, how that's set up and then uh, it, it should be obvious how to set up the rooster routine as well. We can look at that once I show you the setup on the uh, wolf howl routine. So. Basically, this uses uh, an action type, which is playing a sound. So 
When you go in here, you'll just go into action type and select play a sound. You're done with that step. Then it's a matter of setting up the trigger. Now this trigger, as I mentioned, is when I have a dimmable light that goes below a certain percentage. In this case, I selected 11, as you can see here, 11%. Let's go in and look at it. All right, so the trigger is dimmers, dimmable lights. So I just went in and I selected of my dimmable lights, my family room wall lights. That's all there is there. Select the particular light. And then again, you just select the level. So when this goes below and you just put a number in there and I selected 11% then that's the trigger. So that's how easy it is to set that up. There is an option here to uh, limit this to happen only one time a day. I didn't want that to be limited. I want it to happen anytime my dimmable lights uh, go below 11%. So we hit done here. So again, the action trigger, whenever the level of those family room wall lights or basically my sconces go below 11%, that's the trigger for the wolf howl sound. Then it's a matter of selecting which devices you want the wolf howl sound to play on. And as you see in here, I selected my kitchen echo dot and my family room echo dot. So that's all there is to that step. And then it's a matter of selecting the sound that you want to play. And here you see all the sound types that are available through the She Who Will Not Be Named app. And there's all kinds of different bells and camera sounds. Here I selected the wolf howl sound, but you can see the list is pretty extensive. So you have a number of sound types that you can use in a number of ways. Let's go ahead and hit done. Then you have some volume options here. I selected to play the sound at 100%, and then I also selected to restore my volume back to 30%. The reason I did that is we typically have background music playing at a level of 30%, so I want to restore that after the wolf howl sound occurs. You have an option to delay the sound. If you prefer, I did not select that option. And then finally, you're, you'll need to name the option when you're done, uh, and then you can test it by clicking on this button here. Okay, let's hit done. And that's really all there is to it. You just need to save out of that after you name the app. And uh, you can set up the rooster routine the same way. If you look in here, we'll go through this quickly. Action type is play a sound. Configuration is when the level exceeds 70%. I have no restrictions configured for this, but I've configured the execution to play on two Echo devices where I increase the volume to 100%, then restore it back down to 30. And uh, then I simply name the action as Rooster. Save that, and we're done. So it's very easy to set up once you have the Echo Speaks app in place. I'm gonna hit done and, and save out of here so that we can get back to the menu with Echo Speaks. And we'll go ahead and exit out of the SmartThings app as well. So I trust you found this information helpful today. If you did, I appreciate it if you could give the video a thumbs up. That tells the YouTube algorithms that this video is something that maybe other people would enjoy as well. And it would also help my channel rating. So I appreciate it if you could do that. Uh, if you didn't get a chance, make sure you remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you'll be assured of getting notices of any new content. And remember to check out Justin's channel. I think you'll enjoy the content that he has on there as well. Hey, thanks for watching today, and we'll see you next time.